Have you ever felt sorry for men having the pressure to be the ones to pursue women and risk rejection? No. <laughs> no, not really. No, I don't know. I don't know. It's tough to think about. I think either gender gets rejected just as much. I actually have really big. I, I feel really a lot for men because I think they have a really hard time. Girls just have it so easily. Um, dating is in, they have also a lot of pressure um, and constantly having to be funny. Um, they got to be, you know, the most gentle one in the room. And it's not necessarily them being themselves, but that's how they have to come across to get the, the women's attention. Have you noticed that when it comes to self-improvement, a lot of men say that one of their goals is to become successful with women, but if you ask women about their self-improvement goals, you'll rarely hear them say, I want to improve my skills with men. Why is it this way? Why is it that men seem to need to actively improve their skills in dating, whereas success just seems to be the default position for women? It doesn't seem fair, does it? But that is just the biological and cultural reality of the world that we live in. And if you want to be successful as a man when it comes to dating, you're going to have to earn that success. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to define success as a man when it comes to dating. But before we get to that, I need to talk to you about testosterone. This is a really important subject because the research is absolutely clear. Testosterone levels across all men are dropping. It is a scientific fact that our generation is less masculine than our father's and our grandfather's generation. The reason that this should concern you is that without healthy levels of testosterone, you're going to find that you have less energy. You're going to be less enthusiastic about life. You're going to have a lower sex drive. All of the things that you need to be a masculine man depend upon testosterone. So how can you tell if you have decreased testosterone? Well, there's a couple of signs that you can look out for. Things like fatigue, low libido, erectile dysfunction, hair loss, reduced muscle mass, uh, reduced memory. Even things like depression can all be traceable back to low testosterone levels. But these are all just signs. They're not really definitive proof. There's only one way that you can know for sure whether or not your testosterone is at a healthy level. You need to have a blood test. And to that end, I'm thrilled to announce that I've partnered with letsgetchecked.com which is the new sponsor of this channel. As a viewer of this channel, we're going to get you an amazing discount. But before we get to that, I'll just explain how it all works. With letsgetchecked.com, your first step is to log on to their site and then choose which test you want to be tested for. They have an extensive range of tests available, things like cholesterol, iron, vitamin deficiencies, even really, really discreet testing for STDs. But for the purpose of this video, I want to talk about the male hormone tests. So first things first, you choose your test and you can go for the straightforward option of just testing your testosterone levels, or you could choose one of the more advanced options that also check your levels of prolactin and estradiol, things like that. After you've chosen your test, you don't need to wait long. They feature next day delivery. After you've gotten your kit, just follow the instructions, collect your sample, and then mail it back to them using the prepaid shipping label that came with your box. The whole thing's really simple. After they've tested your blood, they'll post your results online, which you can access via your own secure account. You can speak to one of their physicians over the phone about your results, and if necessary, those physicians can provide you with a prescription for the pharmacy of your choosing. This service is amazing. They are discreet, professional, quick. They've got thousands and thousands of five-star reviews. So if you are at all concerned about your testosterone levels, don't let anxiety prevent you from taking action. Get tested today, get the results so that you know what the next step forward is. What's awesome is that as a viewer of this channel, if you use the coupon code Alexander20, you will get 20% off your order. This is a fantastic deal. There's absolutely no reason to not take advantage of this. All of the details are in the description box below. On a personal note, you guys know that this channel continues to have monetization issues. And while I'd like to accept more sponsorships, the products and businesses that email me that want to sponsor the channel, I often think are just not good products. They're just not the kind of things I want to associate my name with. So I was absolutely thrilled to get this email and to begin this partnership because this company is 100% legit. I really believe in their mission and they can help a lot of men. For me, it's really exciting to make this new partnership and have an ongoing sponsor for the channel. Okay, back to the video. Everybody wants to be successful with women, but it is worthwhile defining exactly what success means as a man. Does success mean getting married? Does success mean sleeping with lots of women? Does it mean just having a girlfriend? Does it mean having a high quality girlfriend? Does success mean the ability to seduce any woman that you see? 
I recently did a Skype call with a guy who said that he wanted to be successful with women, and I asked him to specifically define what success meant to him, and his answer really broke my heart. What he said is that he wants women to chase him. He wants to be such a high value guy that women are competing with each other, just throwing themselves at him so that he never has to be the initiator of any romantic interactions. I'm guessing that people listening to this video can relate, at least in a hypothetical sense, to where this guy is coming from. Who doesn't want to be such a high value guy, so desirable that women aren't just tripping over themselves to get to you? What could be more validating for your desirability as a man than have women actively pursuing you. That is the fantasy, this kind of abundance. And I'm guessing that if you're honest with yourself, you can admit that at some point in your life, you've had this fantasy. But let me tell you, that kind of abundance is never going to happen. If you are still holding on to hope that one day this fantasy is going to become a reality, you need to let that hope die because holding on to that hope is going to make you completely and utterly miserable. The reason is that it is a completely unrealistic standard of success by which to measure yourself against. Consider somebody who's overweight and they have the goal to get back to a respectable weight. They want to be thin again. And so they go to the gym, they do lots of exercise, they clean up their diet and they become a healthy person again. By all reasonable standards, that person is successful. But what if they have completely unrealistic standards for success? What if it's not enough to simply lose weight, they wanna become a professional athlete and compete in the Olympics? Well, if that's their standard of success, then they're obviously going to feel miserable and feel like a failure because that's just such an unrealistic standard to attain. Only a minute fraction of a fraction of a fraction of athletes will ever be so good that they can compete in the Olympics. And likewise, only the tiniest percentage of men are ever going to be so high value that women are actually the ones pursuing them. It does happen occasionally. I'm not saying it's impossible. If you're extraordinarily wealthy or a really famous celebrity, you will have women competing with each other, actively pursuing you. But this is not a realistic experience to expect as a man. A lot of guys think, well, why can't I expect that? Why shouldn't that be my reality? That was the experience for my ex-girlfriend. She got hit on 10 times a week. If women are able to attain that level of abundance, why can't I? Why shouldn't I expect that as a man? It does not work like that. It just doesn't. Men and women's experience of the dating market is completely different. And you cannot judge your level of success as a man comparing to a woman's level of success. It's not a realistic standard. If as a man, you're able to approach a girl get her to laugh, get her to smile, get her phone number, maybe get her to come out on a date with you, that is extremely impressive. That is you being successful. And in a lot of ways, that's more impressive than a woman who's able to attract 10 men to come and actively ask for her number. The measure of success for men and women has to be different when it comes to dating. It just has to be because you need to be reflecting the biological and cultural reality of the world that we live in. So maybe expecting women to be actively pursuing you is unrealistic and that just begs the question then what is a reasonable standard to measure success by as a man in the dating market when can you consider yourself to be a successful man so long as you keep your expectations grounded in reality i think the answer to this question is reasonably straightforward if you can approach women consistently with a calm confident manner and you get a positive response from the women that you approach that is success. If you have female friends who actively recommend you to other women because they know you're such a great catch, that is success. If you're in a relationship with a high quality woman and that relationship is healthy, functional, it makes both of you happy, that is success. These are all realistic standards by which to measure your success with women, reflecting the current realities of our dating market. This is a really important topic because the struggle to be successful in the dating market is difficult enough as it is as a man. The odds are heavily stacked against you. You don't need to add an additional burden onto yourself by having unrealistic expectations. If you're a man who has female friends, you can get women to go on dates with you. You have a nice, healthy relationship with a sweet girl. Don't consider yourself to be a failure just because you can't reach stupid levels of success. From all reasonable standards, you are successful with women. And please stop comparing yourself to the female experience. You will never unlock that level of abundance as a man. Just not going to happen, so please give up that idea completely. It is the reality of the dating market that most women are not going to take notice of you. 
A lot of women are already in relationships or they just prematurely judge you for some superficial characteristic because they can afford to do so because they have such an abundance of options. As a man, you're not going to be desirable to 100% of women. It's never going to happen. So please relieve yourself of that pressure. Do not place those expectations on yourself. The fact that you don't achieve the same level of abundance as your female equivalent, even though you're roughly equal in terms of value, does not mean that you are less successful than her. You just need to be judged by different standards. I'm not saying that you should make no effort to improve yourself in this area, not at all. There are standards that you need to reach, but if you're generally attractive to women, you can speak to them with confidence, you can have functional relationships, that is enough. That is success in the dating market. Did you know that only about 60% of my content actually makes it here to YouTube? The rest of it is all posted as exclusive videos on my Patreon. My latest video talks about how men who improve themselves and become high quality men, they naturally stop being interested in low quality women. But I also talk about the one vulnerability, the one weakness or blind spot that these men can have that can still leave them vulnerable to low quality women. I also give my personal thoughts about my audience members, whether or not I consider them to be high quality and who my target audience specifically is. This video was inspired by a question I received from one of my patrons. So if you've ever had a question that you wanted to ask me, something you wanted me to make a video about, or if you just want access to all of this exclusive content, please head over to my Patreon. It's only $5 a month and it's a fantastic way to support the channel. I'd love to have you as part of our community.